Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar. In this video, you will learn how we can create a horizontal timeline chart using scatter chart. So as you are seeing my screen, I have created this chart using this data. In the first part of this video, you have learned how to create this vertical timeline chart using this data set. And we have used a scatter chart to create this timeline chart. Again, we will use this scatter chart to create this beautiful chart. I will use this data set. So I'll copy this and I'll add a new worksheet here and I will paste this data here. We will require a position column here. So I'll use position column and here I will take 50 and then minus 50 and then 80 minus 80 and the same value I'll take here. You can take 100 in place of 80 now i will convert this range into table so that the range will be dynamic for our chart so whenever you will add a new milestone it will automatically reflect on your chart so i will press ctrl l to convert this in table and just click on ok now this is a table now i'll remove the grid lines from this worksheet so i'll go to the view and just uncheck these grid lines and then i'll go to the insert and i will insert a scatter chart here this one so this is a blank chart i will right click here and then i'll go to the select data i'll click on add button and then we will add a series you can put the series name or you can select from here i'll keep it blank for x value i'll take date and for y value i'll take position and just click on ok now just right click on this axis go to the format axis and here i will add the tick marks so i'll go to the tick marks and i will enable the major tick mark and i'll take cross and for minor also just keep it cross for the minor one if you want to take one here for each day there will be one tick mark so it will look like this you can change the size also if you want to remove the grid lines from here you can remove that just uncheck the grid lines now we can remove this vertical axis also just delete select this axis just make it bold and black slightly bigger and for the lines go to the format and shape color we will take black if you want to change the line thickness you can change it now we will add error bars here in these pointers so just select the chart click on this plus button and just click on error bars from error bars we will remove the horizontal error bars so just click on the horizontal error bars and just press delete button so it is deleted now only vertical error bars are available just select the error bar right click go to the format error bars here in the direction we will choose as minus and and style we will choose no cap and then error amount we will choose percentage and the percentage 100 percent our chart will look like this now i will fill the color in the line click on fill and line and here i will take solid line you can choose any color whatever you want to choose i have taken this green color here and then slightly thick line like this now what i will do i will insert shape here so i'll go to the insert shape and here i will take this shape click and just click here now i will rotate this shape on 90 degree right 90 change the shape size like this make a duplicate of this shape and just keep this here and now i will rotate this shape as flip horizontal and just keep this shape here now for the first shape we will fill the green color this one and for this we will take shape outline no outline shape fill as no fill and select this shape also right click and make this group so this is two different shapes but only one shape is visible so just copy this and select point and paste this here now the shape will look like this but still we are able to see this bar also so what i will do just click on this shape double click and just slightly move to left side like this now copy this and just paste this here so it is looking like a flag now we will add our data label here right click add data labels our data label is available as position number but we want to display here date then enter and then our milestone so it should be date and from the new line it should be the milestone name so what i will do i'll add a new column here which for data label data label 
and we will format our data label first we will take date so i'll use text and then date format i'll take this one close the bracket and i'll use character 10 and then i will take milestone name and just press enter now if i will format this data label format data label here i will use value from cells and then i will select this range just click on ok and check this y value show later lines a data level will look like this now make this black and bold size you can take around 8 only so that it should be proper visible you can change the size take the outline of the chart this and if you want to put some safe effects so our horizontal timeline chart will look like this just make this bold so that is how you can create this horizontal timeline chart in microsoft excel using a scatter chart you can use this timeline chart in your project management dashboard or you can use in your powerpoint presentation also if you want to display there your timeline chart i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video friends please hit the like button thank you so much for watching